Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. We're gonna make some real progress today. That is to say we are very close to actually smithing. Smithing, it, <laughs> it's been a long road. I'm, I'm honestly really impressed with like the amount of effort it takes in this game to actually get to being able to metal work. But uh, in any case, there's a few things we're gonna have to do before we can actually start doing that. Um, so even after you've got your anvil, you are going to need to be able to um, create ingots. Ingots are what you're going to actually be metal working with. So that means you have to have molds for your ingots. And then you can start putting it on your, uh, your, your like heating device, your element. I forget what it's called, or furnace or something. I don't know why I included this footage of me killing rabbits. I, I don't know, like, uh, I'm starting to cut some of that stuff out because uh, it... It makes me feel bad every time I see it. But no, um, one of the major parts of progress we're going to be seeing today is, first of all, um, I needed... I, so I went back to this location that I marked down uh, when I, uh, to get some of this granite. And the way you get actual granite blocks, never mind granite stone, is you have to dig all around it. Like, you have to make it a floating point in air, basically. And that lets you get a granite block. Once you have four granite blocks, you can make a kern. Can make a kern and uh, kerns are very useful for grinding stuff like everything you're going to be doing a lot of grinding in this game not just you know mechanically uh but also you are literally going to be grinding stuff like bones and and starfish and, and all kinds of stuff so that's going to be super important um but no the other kind of progress we're going to be making is uh actually working on the house because that's been pending for a ridiculously long amount of time. Not that uh, the house won't be pending for a ridiculously long amount of more time, but the, you know, it's it's a thing, it's a process, right? It's a, it's a long process. But, um, you know, I, I came to realize that I was getting more copper than I was actual um, stone, clay stone, which is what I wanted to build, uh, you know, the, the foundation of our house from. So uh, I, I had to come to a couple of realizations about how to do that, how, to, how best to get our claystone. And that is something I do realize in this episode. Um, gotta get some, gotta get some food. I also have to start stockpiling some food because winter is, uh, uh, you know, not to be a meme, but uh, winter is coming. Uh, oh God, remember Game of Thrones? Yeah, I don't, God. That was a lot of time we spent in that universe, wasn't it? Anyway, here's your first um, clip of me grinding starfish. That's pretty good. That's going to help us make lime. Lime is going to be useful for many, many things. Uh, not all of which I understand fully yet, but I am sure I will. I think eventually we will use it to make mortar if I am so inclined. God, I hate that that door breaking on us every every other time. But, you know, I, I like it as a mechanic, but uh, on, on paper, I, I hate it. <laughs> Um, anyway, I am uh, here. I'm, I'm kind of looking at what eventually we could do with uh, flax thread. Um, so that's a thing that we're going to want to do. Flax, like I said, is going to be useful for a lot of things. And eventually uh, it should be very useful for us to increase our inventory with um, because, you know, like I lost my my backpack, backpack, backpack. Um, but, um, you know, like we, we want to replace it with something. And I actually... The backpack, the hunter's backpack I made, it was very expensive and it didn't really, it only increased our inventory by one slot. So I feel like I want to skip um, hunter backpacks and move straight on to uh, sacks that are made from, I believe, linen or flax thread. So here I've included um, a lot of the, the mining I'm going to be doing. Uh, I've cut short, of course, a lot of the drudge work uh count how many times i dropped that fire starter kit by the way but um yeah like you know i i picked a direction and it, it turns out that that was a good direction to go in it was a, one of the last directions i hadn't really covered on my map and i just found copper vein after copper vein after copper vein and uh with all of that comes you know you get a you get some uh claystone for sure but i need a kind of monumental amount of claystone in order to 
fully build our uh, our house platform. And of course, even after we're done there, then you know we're not done. But uh, here's an interesting find also, possibly one of the most important that I've made so far. Um, this was a meteorite um, included with Suville, Suville Impact Rock, apparently. That stuff seems pretty interesting. I dug a little bit out of it, but, um, you know, the episode's called Priorities for a reason. Uh, there were so many moments in this uh, session where I was struggling with inventory management and uh, I had to keep dropping something for something else. And uh, at a certain point, like, I, I'm pretty sure I dropped a lot of uh, good stuff for, honestly, I prioritize Claystone. And what I was going to say is, one of the one of the one cool thing you can do if you are trying to collect um, clay stone for the purposes of building with is oh yeah I had to include that that was so much fun um, pretty large um, you can bring some clay with you and then uh, you know it takes eight clay stones here's here's a light bulb moment by the way is me realizing I can break these boulders for a high amount of yield uh, clay stone. But you can, uh, it takes eight clay stone to make one block. So if you bring some clay with you, you can condense pretty much all of the clay stone you find into the actual building material. Uh, and it only takes one piece of clay. So you could, you know, bring just like a stack of clay and that would condense just a ridiculous amount of clay stone into actual building materials. So that's a good way for, um, you know, doing a little bit of inventory management, but unfortunately I did actually forget to bring clay a couple of times, and so therefore I was carrying, like, lugging around several hundred pounds of, of rocks, basically. Um, I'm not sure why I decided to include this time lapse, except for the fact that, you know, like... Uh, I, I guess it's you, you might take it take for granted how much uh, stuff is actually happening uh, during these play sessions. It's a, about an hour and a half of play session to make 15 minutes of video because I try to include mostly just the progress and interesting things that are going on. And you know it's not Minecraft, but it is Minecraft, and uh, you know so there's not going to be necessarily a high number of interesting things going on. Um, so at this point, you could see like I was re like really hungry and um, I, it was getting dark and I was pretty far away from home, so I you know needed to uh, take some you know panic berries. That's what you call them when you're basically starving. <laughs> you need to you need to like stave off starvation um, for a moment so, so that you can run back to your house. Um, but yeah, this was a pretty pretty good moment. I it's not like like I know that I have death um, like items dropped on death turned off now. That doesn't mean I want to die, and it also doesn't mean I want to get stuck out in the middle of darkness, complete pitch black, while there are monsters uh, roaming around. It's just not my jam at all. So uh, once we get back, I had to make knives and actually like try and root around in the dirt to get enough sticks or grass, which you only need the one, the one grass, so I can make a fire starter. Remember when I dropped that fire starter? I dropped the fire starter probably once per play session because it's like, it's always in my inventory. There's no way to place it. Like you can't put it on the ground, like the panning dish. Um, and so it's just kind of there. It's something you always have to, you know, deal with. And uh, that's not, you know, not always, it's not always uh, something I, I want to have. Also, I, I don't know if you noticed, but can, have you have you counted how many times in this series I've had a lit torch? As I go out on an adventure or on some kind of like exploration or, or incursion and I jump into water because it's just like the direction I'm going in and then my torch goes out that's gonna that's gonna become a theme for the next episode because um, something I am trying to work towards is oh that gets me every time every single time that spooks me a little bit I've seen that like three or four times now and it spooks me every time. I never expect those dwellers to be hanging around that corner. It's just like, it's unsettling to me. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna be working towards a lantern. Lanterns are uh, definitely our late game or, you know, basically not, not quite our end game, but our late game light source, um, both for placing and for 
um, just kind of roaming around and exploring. And uh, I, I believe you can actually jump in the water and it won't go out, but I'm not sure about that. But at the very least, it, ex it has a much larger um, radius of, of light given. So that is super helpful. Um, but uh, I'm going to come to a realization, I think, in the next episode when we actually start smithing um, that I unfortunately can't make one because I threw away a very valuable item that I didn't realize. I, t I took for granted how valuable it was at the time, and that's... That's how you, um, you know, slow your progress down. That's how priorities can sometimes, um, you know, be a bad thing. Like, you don't want to necessarily be dropping stuff all the time. So here I figured, um, I, I figured the, 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 you know, our kind of like cottage could use a little bit of a flourish. So I've, I'm using some of the stairs to create this kind of like built structure around the, the, the sides, which I kind of like. And uh, we're gonna need a ton of charcoal, so that's there. There's our next batch of charcoal um, being baked for the next day. And here's some more more farming. I like the farming, um, and I always feel pretty good when I am actually getting some kind of yield from the farm. Um, but it, certainly, we need to upgrade our farm, and I do have plans to do that. I do want to make basically high. Uh, uh, like highly fertilized soil but that requires rot and rot is something we're going to have to make by sacrificing some food or something else I, I might have to look into what is the most optimal way to get rot um, rot is eventually going to turn into compost which is eventually going to uh, allow us to create high fertility soil and the high fertility soil is going to give us much better yield than it has been giving so um, that is some that is definitely in the cards. It's something I want to do, but um, one thing at a time. Unfortunately, that's the nature of the game. So here here we are. Um, this is actually going to help the farm. So we're grinding our first set of bones, and it's pretty time consuming. This is fairly labor intensive, um, and eventually, what we will want to do is uh, when I say when, not if, we do have a windmill. It'll be something we can kind of like, uh, you know, <laughs> let something else take that energy for us. And we can see uh, once we grind the bones into dust, we can uh, then fertilize the soil. And um, it, it's a slow burn, but it basically does give it some more nitrogen and other good stuff. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, um, maybe you want to hit that like button and uh, consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time when we actually start smithing. Take it easy.